Hey, what's up guys and girls? This is JJ here with a demo of the what is this thing? It is a boho, um, a bohemian guitars oil pan guitar. And um, this kind of guitar build is inspired uh, by the people in Soweto, so in South Africa, uh, poor musicians who, uh, who assemble guitars from like uh, scrap cans and stuff like that, uh, build their own necks and then add electronics. Uh, these kinds of guitars, uh, they're not quite the same as cigar box guitars, they usually have four strings. This is a regular 25 and a half inch scale length electric guitar um, with a, um, a solid maple neck, um, a P90 pickup wired to a volume and tone pot, and a standard uh, Les Paul tunematic style bridge. Uh, the input of the guitar is right here. It's almost completely hollow and the electronics are accessible um, uh, by removing, uh, by loosening the screws over here, you can actually see what's going on in the guitar, uh, how the pickup is wired. So how is this constructed? Well, <clears throat> it is reinforced with some basswood on this side of the guitar. That's where the neck, uh, the neck joins. And uh, also on this side of the guitar, you can also hear it, right? Uh, just to mount the uh, the bridge and, and, and the pots and the neck on this side. And this is actually kind of like a floating P90 pickup. If you don't know what a P90 is, it's kind of a very hot uh, single coil pickup. So somewhere in between a single coil and a humbucker guitar. Um, the radius on the fretboard is pretty flat. Uh, it doesn't say on the website what exactly the radius is, but I'm guessing it's like 16 or maybe even 18 inch uh, radius which makes it perfect for slide guitar uh, which is something you would uh, you would think of when you see an instrument like this playing slide on this uh, so and even Jeff Beck is known to use a boho an actual bohemian guitars uh, oil can guitar to play slide uh, these days um, so it's a pl pretty flat radius uh, which for cording uh, isn't too comfortable but for lead playing finger picking stuff like that and slide it's perfect. Uh, it feels really solid. You can even open up. Uh, you can even open up uh, the oil can here and store, uh, well, whatever you want to store in there. You know, I don't know, like picks or uh, or some illegal uh, goods, I suppose. Um, so that's a pretty cool uh, feature. It has uh, some strap buttons so you can uh, hang it on a strap. And the website says, I I think it's uh, really funny. Uh, the website says it has a built-in stand. Yes, that's what they call it. Uh, and of course they're referring to the rubber feet. So this will easily uh, just stand up on the floor or on a desk uh, like that uh, as a built-in stand. Because as you can see, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty wide uh, can, uh, especially compared to a regular, you know, like acoustic guitar or semi-electric semi or hollow body electric guitar. So when you're hanging on the wall, or set it in, in, in a, a studio case or something like that. It's pretty thick. So it's a cool feature that it has this uh, built-in uh, stand. It also comes with a really nice uh, leather covered case uh, that's rectangular, I'll show it to you right now, uh, in which the, uh, the boho um, uh, fits really nicely and there's even some space left for like, uh, you know, slides, capos, picks, strings, what have you, cables, of course. And I'm uh, running this, um, this boho or straight into my PV Classic 20 mini head, uh, recording it direct out, speaker, speaker emulated, uh, straight into my interface. So what you just heard was the uh, overdrive channel. Uh, I'll let you hear some more of that before I switch to the uh, clean channel, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
case. It's actually a really nice pickup, cleans up really nicely, uh, doesn't lose a lot of high end then. Uh, so it's great for that, you know, like uh, slight breakup, light overdrive kind of stuff uh, to play that. Uh, great for blues. It does take a little bit of getting used to playing it because it feels like you're playing a really big bodied acoustic uh, or hollow body guitar because the, the, the neck is pretty far away and it is a little top heavy as you can see because of course the neck is much heavier than the can itself uh, but um, when you're playing it with a strap I, I felt no problems uh, at all. <laughs> So making like those really big monster bends is no problem on the bow because it has such a flat fingerboard radius. Uh, so now I'm just going to switch to the uh, clean channel of the amplifier and let you hear how it sounds um, in, in that uh, range. <laughs> Okay, because of its construction, doing neck bends is uh, is pretty easy on this guitar. It's not very uh, very good, and it's not very convenient because you know when you pull the neck just a little bit, you know it's gonna go uh, in and out of tune, of course. But if you want to do faux Bigsby stuff with it, uh, that's cool. You can do that on this guitar. So that, my friends, is the Bohemian Guitars uh, Surf Wax Edition. Uh, of the boho. They also make a single coil in the humbucker edition and they also have a custom shop. Uh, so I really like this uh, this thing uh, because this type of guitar um, basically um, uh, lets you play different things. It's certainly an inspiring instrument. Uh, it's pretty reliable. I would definitely gig with this and I could see myself doing like coffee house gigs or really really small pubs uh, with, with this thing in our semi-acoustic set would be cool for that. I'd, I'd use it in the studio because it has a sound that is kind of a blend between a, a hollow body electric and an electric uh, resonator guitar. Really peculiar, uh, certainly very inspiring. So I'll play you one last example on the drive channel with a lot more gains to see how, uh, see how it holds up. My name's JJ, signing off. JJ, out. Mm -hmm.